Mustard Knuckle. Hello, everybody. Mustard Knuckle back again, heading out in the charioteer. Interesting tank. Big gun, 20 pounder gun, the speed of a Cromwell, but with a bigger gun and less armor. This is an interesting tank. It was kind of an in between, and we'll talk about the history of it, the uh, gameplay here, and uh, any tips or anything that comes along while we're doing that. So we use the speed of this tank to kind of get an outside position here to see if we could kind of get some shots on these guys, like right about here. There we go, set a guy on fire. That's a good start. So this tank primarily used these Sabo shells. It could only carry 25 of them because the hull is just a Cromwell hull. And they put a bigger gun on top. So it took away a lot of space when they had to put this bigger turret on here. Took it down to a two-man turret because they had to fit that 20-pounder gun in there. So it's a slightly different turret. Um, and they had to lower the armor and make it a little bit bigger around in order... Oh, somebody got hammered before I did. But they had to go with a, a bigger turret ring, and uh, this gun was heavier, so uh, they wanted to increase the armor on the front. Okay, transmission, well, he can still shoot. Uh, but in order to do that, they ran into the weight limitations of the suspension here on the Cromwell, so I'm gonna keep firing in here. I feel like this supposed shell ought to be able to do something. There we go. Uh, against the front plate on this tiger. Oh, this could be a lot of work. Um, but basically, this is an upgun Cromwell. And it's interesting because we've talked about this before with other vehicles where it's like an adaptation. Um, they realize they need something a little better, a little more powerful, a little bigger gun, whatever it might be. And then as they make those changes, um, other problems present themselves. This tank was kind of a, a stopgap because there was a bigger um, a tank, a bigger tank in development, um, along with the Centurion. Uh, there was another tank that were developing. So this one, God, I'm just going to keep shooting here um, to kind of fill the gap while that one was in development and use what they had to kind of get this bigger gun out there because at that time there was just the Comet, uh, the other Cromwell with a 75 millimeter gun which was out of date by then. Let's see if we can get this guy. High velocity shells. That's nice. Uh, they're easier to aim. There we go. They're easy to aim because it's a nice flat shot but like I said as they developed this, they ran out of room, especially for these 20 pound shells, for uh, stowage of all the ammo. Um, normally there would be space up in the turret or in other places in the tank, but because this is just a Cromwell, they ran out of room. So the gunner position in the front, the whole gunner was removed. Um, and that was basically the space that was allowed for uh, ammo storage, uh, stowage. Man, we're getting a lot of shots out here, but not many of them are very effective, unfortunately. A lot of hits, but not finishing anything. Here we go, one more. Okay, it's on fire. Let's see if we can finish this now. Maybe it'll burn down, who knows. Um, but you can see that this is, I mean, this is just Cromwell. So we have the, the standard Cromwell problems of no reverse but we have good Cromwell speed, which will allow us to move around. Now you can see how tall this turret is. It's a tall turret. They slope the armor on it, but it, like I said, it has reduced uh, armor on it because the weight was a problem. The suspension of the Cromwell couldn't handle all the things they wanted to do here. They wanted that big 20 pounder gun. They wanted uh, more armor. And before you know it, oh, somebody got him now. Uh, before you know it, you, you can't add any more to these things because now it's just the weight and balance is off. It's too heavy on the front suspension, um, and that creates a big problem like we're in right now. Oh, boy. Got to get him. Uh, and we got somebody in there. Too bad. So, as you can see, I mean, these are the problems that develop or that crop up as things are changed. Uh, from an existing design. They made almost 500 of these, 
and they were in service for a long time they started making these in the 50s and they were in service nice there we go finally get somebody with one shot they were in service all the way until the early 80s they served in the middle east i think i read that great britain even though they developed this they weren't really one of the main operators of this thing uh so other countries in europe uh, ended up using these more than the British did. Now you can see how we're just moving around within these houses because it gives us all kinds of angles and it gives us protection from all kinds of angles uh, to just work our way around these houses. But eventually we're going to have to get over to A, which is really what we need to do, and it's on the other side of the river. So we're going to need to start working our way that way uh, at some point. So that basically covers the charioteer. I mean, you can see it's a Cromwell. Um, it's got the taller turret to fit the cannon. It's got the reduced armor on that turret because it was a weight issue. Um, like I said, they tried to weld onto the hull, but as they did that, that added to that weight issue. So they had to determine what they wanted to do um, while they developed it on an existing chassis. So like I said, they're about five. Oh boy, everybody knows I'm here now. Um, they built almost 500 of these. Let's see if we can find a place to just wait here. There's somebody right over there, but one of my teammates is looking at him. Some teammates around here. I'm not exactly sure which way I want to go right now. Maybe will get through one of these little windows. See these gaps between the buildings? Those are, I mean, that's what I call windows. Um, looks like he's too far away might need to run over there you see the problem we run into and that's why I'm sitting here I'm trying to reload I've already fired I fired 23 shots there I was started at 25 and uh, with the relatively quick reload um, you go through your rounds pretty quick so I had to come down here and pick some up which is nice so we have this cap point so close Okay, there's another assist. Lots of assists. I don't know how many kills I've gotten, but it's that guy. I gotta work over here. Let's see if I can get an angle to help my teammate there. And again, that's where the speed of this is really nice. Because we can cover ground on the map and we can run over and maybe even sneak up on people that aren't expecting us. Let's see. Keep working this way. Yeah, that guy's gonna need some help. And as I'm going over here, I'm, I know about where he is, and I'm trying to just see if there's any windows that open up where I can get a shot through. Okay, we're on smoke. Where is he? There he is. There we go. That was cool, right in between my guy and the building, and got, a, got that guy knocked out. Good deal. All right. Now, again, like I said, that speed is what really allowed us to be able to do that. If we were in a Sherman or something doing 20 knots, or... 25 miles an hour or so but it would have been tough to get over there in time while those two were kind of battling it out so got over there helped him out and now we will work back over this direction and then like I said we'll work our way back to A here shortly let's see nope no angles right now but we do need to get A at some point they, it looks like they decapped it or whatever but I'm gonna get some more ammo here, and then I think we'll run over there after we reload and get some ammo on this thing. Because like I said, I mean, it goes quick. It goes real quick, and we don't want to be over there uh, with no ammo. That kind of defeats the purpose of us even going over there. So, let's see. Hello, friend. What do you got going on? Not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I guess let's get in an airplane here. Hey, you know what? That'll work really well. We'll get in a plane and let this thing sit here and reload uh, while we go see what we can do from the air. Now this is a good time, this kind of map where we got A and B and we need to get over to A. This is a good time to use an airplane to kind of look around and see what they have and see what's over there and where they are and get a general idea because if they're over here with a whole bunch of anti-aircraft or something then we know we can get in there pretty good. But let's see, there's a couple medium tanks there's not a lot over here. I mean, we're in pretty good shape. We got four, five guys over there. We got guys around A. Not a lot to do. I can't do much with this except, except crash it, apparently. So I'll just crash that plane there. And so I'm going to tell these guys what I saw. 
so now maybe that'll help um, if they know what's over there then we can we can run over there now sometimes during the game guys will put you know like they'll put in chat like two on a one on a whatever and that's helpful because then the whole team knows okay there's two guys over there and then you can look at the map and see how many teammates are over there if there's two or three then you know they might have that under control pretty well but if there's nobody or there's one then maybe get a little group together to get over there and try to help out I'm just going straight over here again the speed we're going third we're going almost eh, we're probably going just over 40 miles an hour uh, to get over here and now we can start capping beautiful thing beautiful thing and maybe we can even get some kills while we sit here not sure I can't quite get down far enough to get any shots there let's see nope but I want to stay on here because I want to cap this. Let's see, we'll get up behind this house. This ought to help a lot. Now, we should be able to make some normal shots from here. It's right there, my gosh. I didn't even see that guy until... Okay, let's see if we can get him. And... Get behind him. Turret, boom. There we go. Now we're talking. I think we got this game now get back on here try to help cap because you guys know how fast this runs down if we can cap this thing we are going to be looking good but it is so slow let's see yeah everybody's coming now it's over great game really good game there we go game over nice game Five, lots of assists. Five assists, only three kills. But that's how you can use these fast tanks, especially with the decent gun. We covered so much ground on that. 21 hits. I think I had to have fired 30 shots at least. Oh, man. They had so many guys. Was They had one guy with 10 kills, and almost the whole rest of the team didn't do anything, which is good for us. You know, that works. But, wow. That's too bad for them. Good game for us. All right, well, that's the Charioteer. That pretty much sums it up. Just a modified Cromwell, bigger gun, stopgap between development of the new tank, and this thing was in service for a long time, long time. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck, have fun. We'll see you in the next one.